Hi, I'm Nikki, and you're watching Better Batter Baking. Today, my co-star, Carlin, will be going against our special guest star, Carly, to see who can make the better cupcake. I will be making a moist chocolate cupcake with a rainbow frosting. I will be making a lemon cupcake with a strawberry frosting. First, we will be preheating the oven to 360 degrees. My recipe requires uh, 350 degrees and her recipe needs 375, so we made a compromise. First, I need to line a muffin tin. Nikki, where's my muffin tin? Oh, no, all the muffin tins are there. They're there. there. Oh. First thing I will do is sift my one and a half cups of flour with the one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right. So I have my muffin tin that I'm going to line with cupcake wrappers. So what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm just starting my second batch, which it consists of one stick of butter, which I'm going to melt in a second, one cup of sugar, two eggs, uh, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of lemon zest. So do you have to melt the butter or soften it? I mostly just have to soften the butter so it's easy to mix. And you haven't even made your batter, so why are you putting the cupcake? I am just following the recipe. And where did you find your recipe? I found my recipe on the website called Sally's Baking Addiction. Do you bake off that recipe often? Actually, it's the first time I've used this recipe and this site. So, and from what I've done so far, I enjoy it a lot. So the recipe says that you have to add one egg at a time and mix it before you add the next. So this recipe uh, makes 14 cupcakes, but I am only making 12 and I'm just going to save the extra batter because I only have one muffin tin. So now I need to set this aside. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start melting the butter now. Okay. And while that cooks, I'm going to add my second egg. Okay, so the recipe says the whisk. I do not have a whisk. I did not cook this my first time with a whisk. So I'm just going to use a regular stirring and utensil to combine this. So I need to put in the cocoa powder, the baking powder, the baking soda, and my salt. And I need to mix this until it's thoroughly combined. And now I'm going to add my flour. And I'm going to just mix until this is combined.
So is there a certain consistency that you want with these eggs? Um, you want it to, to mix it until it's light and fluffy and <laughs> you don't see any more butter. And do you personally find it's important to mix the dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately or are you just doing this because the recipe said to? Well, I think it, it is important because if you didn't, then um, it wouldn't be the right texture. And do you find it important? It's very important because if you mix a wet ingredient in with the multiple dry ingredients, it does not mix properly and you end up with clumps of different ingredients and it just does not end up well. Next, I'm going to get my lemon zest. So have you made that mistake before? In? Uh, sadly, yes. Carly, okay, edit this out. Carly, um, are you going to use the second mixing bowl? <clears throat> no. Okay. Wait, I'm going to need a bigger one. Oh. Okay. I need to put this back. I'm going to clean this because this is a little dirty. <laughs> this is great. Okay. <clears throat> Mm. All right, so in a second mixing bowl, I am going to combine the eggs, which I have already cracked, and again, they must be at room temperature. I need to mix my eggs with my granulated sugar, my brown sugar, my oil, and my vanilla. And I'm going to measure out Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. So how much lemon zest do you need for this recipe? I need two tablespoons of lemon zest and then after I'm going to use the leftover lemon to get one and one-fourth tablespoon of lemon juice. So are you a fan of lemon desserts usually or? Yes. I actually really am. It's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> What's one of your favorite desserts that has lemon in it? Uh, I actually really like lemon cake. It's really good. Do you make it at home or? I usually don't. I the only time I've really like ha have had it is during Christmas, and I've bought it at the store for my brother's birthday. Do you think I could grate some of that for you while you move on? Um, sure. All right, so now I am mixing all of those ingredients I just added in a bowl. And I'm going to mix until they are well incorporated. Where's this one? Oh. I'm sorry, she just hit me in the butt with the drawer. And it felt really weird. Okay. Got to get all those lumps and the brown sugar out. All right. Do you want to measure that? Sure. So now this is fairly well mixed together. I'm just getting the last brown sugar lumps out of there. And I'm going to, this is where the recipe gets a little bit complicated. So I need to pour half of my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. So you said you were having some trouble with some clumps in the brown sugar. Can we see that? 
Or have you already gotten them out? I'll I've already gotten most of them out. See, here you can see one right there. It's just a little bit clumpy. I just got to make sure I get all of those. But I think that was the last one. Um, so, I am now going to add half of my buttermilk in with that, and it has to be at room temperature. Okay. So, how much lemon zest do you need to finish the recipe? You need two tablespoons. Okay. So, now I'm mixing these together. And spilling a little, but that's okay because baking is messy. So I just need to gently mix this for a few seconds until it's pretty well mixed. So it is a bit thick, and that is because we've only added half. So now I just need to mix in the remaining wet ingredients and the remaining buttermilk. And the reason we are not doing simple things such as boxed cupcakes is because that's not really very much of a competition. It's more like who picked the better box of cupcakes. So we are not doing that. Just the rest of my buttermilk. I'm going to mix this together. I personally do not like the way buttermilk smells. I think it smells a bit like vinegar, which I do not enjoy the smell of. Yeah, me too. It kind of, it's strong. Yeah. Okay, so since I finished mixing in my lemon zest, I'm going to use the same exact lemon to juice So I need to just mix this until it is just all mixed together with all the lumps. Any more and the batter will be way too thin. So I'm just getting all of those last lumps out of the cupcake batter. Now I will need to get one and one fourth tablespoons of my lemon juice. Okay, after I'm done with that, this is where my recipe gets a little more complicated. So you want to add one third of this into the bowl and slowly mix in each turn the milk and the vanilla extract. I'm having a bit of trouble here. The batter is getting thinner and thinner, but I haven't gotten all the lumps out. So I'm just going to leave it and hope that it works. Now I'm going to get my muffin tins that I set aside. And why does this always happen? I'm going to spoon the mixture into here. Speaking of which, did anyone buy a spoon? <laughs> there might be one Don't mind me. Oh, never mind. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. So, I need to fill it halfway. Any more, and these will overflow. These rise a lot during the baking process. 
and that one was just overfilled completely. <laughs> So what are you doing right now? I'm still mixing in my other batter slowly so it doesn't like get all clumpy at one point. And is the batter starting to form into the right consistency that you want because Carlin had a little bit of trouble with her consistency? Um, I think it's going well so far. And what do you think went wrong with your consistency or whatever? I am not quite sure about that one. It's still a mystery to me. But something that's going wrong right now is I'm kind of overfilling these cupcakes. As you can see, the batter is still a tiny bit lumpy. I'm not sure if there's much I can do about that now because, well, for one thing, I already put it in the muffin tins. But if I mix it anymore, it'll be way too thin. So since I finished mixing my second mixture, now I'm going to add my one and one fourth tablespoons of lemon juice into my mixture. As you can see, I have a little bit leftover batter because this recipe makes 14 cupcakes, but I'm only filling 12. Um, the muffins here, these two are kind of overfilled, so I'm interested to see how that turns out because I have no clue if they're going to overflow. Looks like the oven's preheated. I'm going to put my cupcakes in the oven. Alright, and while that is happening, I am going to get this frosting started. This is what I'm a little bit worried about. I've never done frosting like this before. I'm hoping it goes well, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Carlin, you have to wait for me to put mine in. So Carlin was talking about decoration. Carly, what do you plan on doing for decoration on your cupcake? So I'm going to add on my strawberry frosting, and then with my strawberry, I'm going to cut off the edges to make it look like a rose. So. Strawberry and lemon, that's a bit of a strange combination. Well, Maybe. I originally wanted to make pink lemonade cupcakes, so I decided, so I found a recipe that called for um, just like plain lemon, and the frosting was plain lemon, lemon, but I replaced the lemon juice with strawberry juice. And how are you going to be decorating your cupcakes? I am going to be making a rainbow frosting, which is something I've never done before. And I am not sure how it's going to turn out. So will you pipe the frosting or will you put it on and spread it with a knife to make it fade together? I'm going to be piping, but I think you're just going to have to watch and see how the rest of this plays out. So I'm done with my batter and now I'm going to add my cupcake uh, wrappers into the, for, into the tin. Anyone have the Wi-Fi wi -Fi password? <laughs> Carly. So when people think strawberry and lemon, they think pink and yellow. Is, does that have anything to do with your choice of? Actually, yes. I made sure to get lemon and pink to color, color respond and color coordinate with the cupcakes. And... Did your choice of um, cupcake tins have anything to do with your cupcakes? Not really. To be honest, I just used what I had in my house because we didn't have very much. Now I'm going to use my organic oil spray and spray the wrappers. <laughs> and you have to fill it it the cupcake wrappers up uh, three-fourths of the way.
So Carlin filled her tins using a spout and using the spout off of the bucket and a spatula. Um, how do you usually like to fill your tins? Well, it usually depends. Right now, I don't want to uh, dirty any more materials, so I'm just using the fork I used. And would you usually use something different, or? Um, it usually depends. Like, sometimes I do this, other times I use, like, a spatula. All right. As you can see, I have set out multiple bowls because this is a rainbow frosting, so I have to make many different colors, about six to be exact, because there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So now I'm just going to estimate equally filling these bowls with frosting. Hopefully I can get the correct amount. So Carly, I know the recipe said to fill it about what three fourths of the way. Do you you but do you usually like to fill it all the way, halfway? Um. Honestly, I don't know. I just do whatever. Just I make sure not to fill it up all the way, or it will overflow, and the edges will more likely get burnt. All right. So now I'm going to be putting the food coloring in the frosting. Hopefully I can make some pretty colors. If I can actually get this out, which it seems I cannot. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, in this bowl I will be making a red frosting. So I'm just going to add one drop at a time because I do not want to make it super dark. I'm kind of going for more of a pastel color. So, this is more of a pink. I'm going to add one more drop of frost, uh, food coloring. Actually, I'm going to add one more. This is more of a bright pink than a red. Might need more than that, though. So, Carly, it appears that you are pulling some batter out of one of your cupcake tins and putting it in the other. Yes, so I'm almost out of batter and I don't want to like have any batter left over so I'm trying to scrape some out and take some out of the other cupcakes. So usually when you color something with red food dye it becomes more of a pink color. Are you going to try and saturate it enough that it becomes a red or are you going to stick with a pink? I'm going to stick with a darker pink. I think this is about what I'm looking for. So I'm going to move on to the next color. I'm going to do my purple next because I already have red on the fork. I'm going to be mixing that in there. As you can see I've left some frosting and I'm going to be mixing red with blue to make purple. Of course. Should I put on our timer? No. Use your phone. Okay. Listening to them talking, I have realized that I have forgotten to set a timer again. Can you get my oh, minutes? You can put them next to mine. So, do you need the oven mitts? You need to move Carlin's over and put it next to hers. Okay. So, it's already been there in there for a while. Last time I cooked these, they only cooked for 18 minutes. But I'm going to set it about that time because last time I cooked it for, I cooked less cupcakes. So I'm going to start keep it about that time and I'm going to just keep an eye on it. This is a messy process because there's frosting all over the edges of this container. 
Now as you can see, it's turning a nice purple, which was a lot easier to make than the red. I only added two drops of each food coloring. So Carly, how do you plan on beginning the decoration for your cupcakes? Well, first I'm going to put it in a frosting tube and I'm going to put it on top of the cupcakes in a swirl pattern. So can we see your frosting? Is it a nice pink color because it's strawberry or is it red? Um, it's actually a pink color. Here, I'll go grab it now. Now I'm going to move on to the blue because I already just did purple. I'm going to make this blue. So I added two crops of food coloring to start with. So it's it. a light pink color. I added in a little bit of red food dye to make it more bright. And what did you use to make that frosting? Uh, I used two cups of heavy cream, three-fourths cups of confectioner sugar, and one and one-half tablespoons of strawberry juice. And I whipped it all together. And that took a little while because it has to get all fluffy like a whipped cream. So um, that seems like a small amount of strawberry juice or whatever, to be honest. So did you add a little bit more than the recipe, or did you add the exact amount? Um, I actually added a little more than the recipe because when I tried it, it wasn't the to the like, flavor I would like, how strong. Can I try a little? Yes. Mm. So while Kylie was talking, I intentionally added one drop of blue food coloring, but accidentally added another drop. So I added in total four drops of food coloring and made this blue. So now I'm going to move on to my green. So I'm timing my cupcakes for 15 minutes. So I added some blue food coloring. I am stupid enough to realize, not realize, that I had green food coloring. So I'm just going to add blue and yellow and hope it turns out correctly because this yellow does look a little bit orange. Yeah, it should look pretty good. So this is a green that I'm making. It's a little bit froggy. <laughs> All right, this is more of a green I would like. So now I'm going to move on and make my yellow and try to get most of this color off. All right, so in this bowl, I will be making my yellow. I'm gonna add two drops to start with. because. So how you make my strawberry toppings is uh, you you cut off, but not all the way, a little bit of the edges, and then you keep moving upwards to make. So have you tried making these before, or is this your first time? I actually have made these before. This didn't come with the recipe. I came up with this idea myself. So how do you plan on getting the frosting from the bowl into the plastic bag or piping bag, whichever you'll be using to frost your cupcakes? Um, I will probably just dump it into the bag or use a fork to help me. I kind of have this cool rainbow on the back of my fork here. I want to see. <gasps> Nikki is obsessed with rainbows. I'm going to eat a strawberry. These okay. are washed, right? Yeah. Now I will be making my orange frosting in the orange bowl. Kind of a coincidence there. Um, so I added two drops of yellow, and I seem to have lost my red food coloring. I'm probably just blind, or maybe I, I don't know. Oh, there it is. So I'm adding one drop of red just because I want it to be a little bit lighter, and I can always add more. So, better safe than sorry. I 
actually like this orange, but I think I might make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to add one more drop of yellow and one more drop of red. And I'm just going to mix it in until it's nice and solid. Actually, I like this orange a lot better. All right. So here comes the complicated part. I'm going to arrange all of my colors so that I have them out. Good frosting. Okay, so here's the tricky part. I need to put all of these colors in line on a piece of plastic wrap. So this is the part that's going to be a bit tricky. So both of you seem to be taking a dive into the creative cupcake decorating world. Um, do you cu decorate cupcakes at home a lot, or? Uh, I don't too much. Well, do you bake at home a lot? Yes, I actually do bake at home a lot. <laughs> what do you usually bake? Cookies, cupcakes, cakes? Honestly, there's usually a large range. And do you bake from a box or do you make from things from scratch like we are today? Uh, I make things from scratch. So is spreading your um, frosting out in a line or together really necessary or? Well the line is very necessary for the recipe to actually work because as you'll see in a minute after I've gotten all of the colors down, which I hopefully will. Um, I'm just going to my finger here. My hands are washed. Don't worry. So I'm going to check on their cupcakes because they both seem to be a bit busy um, decorating. So, Carly, can you move? <laughs> so Carlin's cupcakes seem to be um, dark, but they are chocolate. Um, Carly's cupcakes seem to be really light still, not browning at the edges or anything. Nothing's burnt I'm yet. I'm start putting my frosting into my piping bag. I feel like that, what she's doing right now, is going to be the most difficult part for my recipe because it is fairly complicated. Somehow I managed to get yellow food coloring in my blue frosting, so I'm just going to have to avoid that little section like over there. Like, maybe just like one I feel like this like is that. going faster and faster after I've known what I'm doing. I mean, why not? So Carly, you certainly have the advantage with a piping bag. What kind of tip are you using to pipe the frosting? So I, my nozzle is in the shape of a star and it's big enough so I don't have to work too hard to make the circle and it doesn't take as long. So did you, when you made the stop, <laughs> when you took the uh, piping bag, did you choose the nozzle that was going to be on it or did was it just the one that was there? Uh, I actually chose, there was about uh, five different types of nozzles and I think I chose the one that was definitely the best. So I did not completely mix the purple frosting because it was in the container so I'm just taking the white stuff out and putting the more colored stuff on the plastic wrap. So my cupcakes have about three minutes left to I have some bake. cupcakes I made beforehand to decorate because usually you have to let cupcakes cool to put on the frosting so the frosting doesn't sink into the cupcake. All right, so this is going to be the very difficult part of mm -hmm. my entire process. Um, I 
Hey, Nikki, I had scissors. Good, good for you. Where'd you put them? What do you mean, where'd I put they them? They were in the bag. What bag? My bag. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut the corner of the bag. Here's the very difficult part. I need to roll this into a circle. Do we have, like, All right. another plate? plate? Uh, it's Carla's plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I need to use these scissors to trim the ends of this. Carla, so I think now, your cupcakes would be done. Nikki, can you check on those, please? Okay, so Carla's cupcakes seem to be uh, starting to brown at the edges, or become darker at the edges. Carla's cupcakes, uh, they, they are brown, so... I'm going to take my cupcakes out now and test them with a toothpick. Carly, can I borrow a toothpick? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nikki, help yourself to the frosting. Ooh! They're up. Don't mind top. me. Okay. So here are my cupcakes. Do I have? That I've just taken out of the oven, and I'm going to test with a toothpick to see mm -hmm. if they are done. And if they are not, I will put them back in. My timer just finished. There we are. Okay. So... It has come out clean. So my cupcakes are done. I'm going to test a couple others. Seems that my cupcakes are done. So that is good. I'm now going to take the ones I have pre-made. Plate. I'll get a plate, Jill. Okay, so I really do not want to damage that. So these are the cupcakes that I have pre-made. And I'm just going to put them on this. And once I have frosted them, I will add them to that plate. So I'm really hoping this is going to work out well. I've never done this before, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I personally can't wait to see how your rainbow cupcakes come out because apparently, like you, I love cupcakes. I love cupcakes and rainbows, so this will be fun. Okay. These remind me of corn muffins. They look like corn muffins. Oh my god. It's magical. That's so pretty. I think Carlin wins. Sorry, Carly. I am fairly sure I put that off center, but okay. I did. <laughs> Definitely got to work so on That's so cute. The only thing is I can't really see the blue. Yeah, hmm. it's coming out now. It was a little bit farther behind. See, there it is. So, Carly, your frosting seems to be melting on your cupcakes, even though they were kind of chilled before. Any idea why that could be? I mean... Could be the consistency of the frosting. Yeah. I think just, like, the Maybe type the of frosting. are coming out. So am I. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough frosting, though. So I have two more cupcakes... like I'll have enough. Voila. <laughs> so Here is there any more cupcakes. is there any more decoration that you want to put into these cupcakes? Uh not necessarily I'm not sure I personally did the best job with the frosting. It's kind of leaning a little bit. I like this one, though. Some of them are off-center. Well, this is your first time, so you can't really expect it to be perfect. Both of our contestants have finished their beautiful cupcakes. There's a select moon meeting going on upstairs, and we're going to have them taste a couple of our cupcakes. Cupcakes? Sure, I'll take them later. Thank you. My office is right down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people come to talk to us every two weeks and nobody ever brings snacks. <laughs> this is a great idea. No, all the years I've been on the board. Yeah. This is the first time anyone has ever done this for us. I'm not asking for money. I too. thought your colleagues would be, my colleagues would be pleased. And thank you, Jonathan, for thinking of bringing this to, our, to our attention. I don't, I don't think I've seen my colleagues more happy spending time in any other way. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Anyone like to? Just a second. That's four for you. Guys. Yeah. Well, Mr. <laughs> Ryan had a plate. <laughs> I, I pass them on to my colleague. You don't have to worry about me, ladies. I'm in training. We're going to share when I'm done. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I know we can pass it out. So, this is a moist chocolate cupcake with a rainbow whipped vanilla frosting. And <laughs> the other one is a lemon cupcake. Am I correct? Yes. And a strawberry frosting? Yep, strawberry whipped cream frosting. With wow. a strawberry rose, of course. <laughs> yes, very nice. Yes. Oh, cool. Very nice. Yeah, nice presentation. Okay, we'll have to leave them out here for people to see them all meet. Yes. What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yours is already half gone. Huh? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, better give Mr. Wrigley another nap. <laughs> Else yeah, like a cup no, thank you very much for coming uh, okay. coming by and visiting with us. Uh, the town administrator is in the, uh, always available if you have things you'd like to drop off for him. And uh, we're um, uh, we're very happy that you came by, and uh, your families and you should be very proud of yourselves. Good luck with the show. Yeah, yeah, good good luck. job. Good luck. Better, better, bacon. Yes. Better, better. We just came back from the selectmen's meeting at selectmen's meeting. And now that our cupcake supply has been downed by a lot, we're going to try each other's cupcakes. So this right. is Carlin's rainbow cupcake. I like it. Okay. And this is Carly's cupcake. I don't have any frosting. Mm. It's a lot of lemon. <laughs> I like it. No. <laughs> mm. So you want to say like the lemon's really strong. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Better Batter Baking. Um, be sure to get the next episode. <gasps> Bye. See you next time. Bye. Why does this look like a gigantic napkin? That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I my recipe needs a recipe. <coughs> Need any help? My cast. Oh my god. Carlin, do you want to go first? Casting, casting, like, right. take, take, uh, do you want to go first, like, to put on your ingredients and see what you're doing? It looks like my bag has been damaged. I don't know how, but. It seems there is only one side of the bag. <laughs> it is just a piece of plastic. <laughs> I'm sorry. In that case, that factory needs to be like, I don't know.